Hi, I'm Sally Hodgson. I'm the principal at Beacon View Primary School in Portsmouth. We're a two-form entry primary school um, in the north of the city and in an area of high deprivation. Our children come, all, come from all kinds of backgrounds and from all different kinds of experiences. We run things like breakfast clubs in the morning, bagels on the gate, etc. to make sure our children get the best start to the day. Um, and so being able to bring them here is just a wonderful opportunity. Having just spoken to a year six year group about taking them away for residential and taking them for three days and two nights and them having to pay for that, to suddenly be offered a full week of residential free of charge literally was just amazing and, and I can't tell you the number of parents who've said to us what you don't need any money from us at all. Our families, a lot of our families couldn't have afforded this experience for a whole week um, so to be able to get that free of charge and to be able to bring every child who wanted to come is just incredible and we are so grateful for the opportunity. I think the changes started the minute they got off the coach actually at Gun Wharf um, and they saw the Jenny arrive and it was kind of that reality of we're actually going to go across the water um, and immediately they started to talk more to each other. Um, they got, getting on the boat for some of them was a massive experience um, and they supported each other and those skills and, and that kind of compassion and empathy for each other started the minute they got on that boat and, and some people were nervous and others were really excited about it. Coming over here and actually seeing them start to work in activities, I've seen real teamwork growing between them. I've seen children who have probably never had much contact at all within a classroom team up and support each other. Um, I caught one girl this morning doing another child's hair, somebody she probably has never spoken to before. But those kind of interactions, um, the leadership skills, the teamwork, the confidence that's developing in them, um, and children who've been quite quiet before, who are suddenly really animated, uh, has, has just been brilliant. And I, I hope that when we get them home on Friday, their parents will look at them and go, my child has grown in height and in confidence and in stature, because I think that there is a massive difference already. And I think that difference will continue to develop, even when we get them back into school and when we talk about the experiences they've had and remind them of the memories. I think that, that self-belief will further develop. We had one child who um, sat on the edge and wasn't confident enough to get in the water. But we persevered and we demonstrated to her that resilience and that belief that she could. Um, and another group, her group left and she stayed with us. Another group arrived and she was then able, you could see her itching closer and closer to the edge until the point when she said, I'm gonna do it. And she got in and, and yes, it took her a few minutes, but when she hit the water and she floated there and the smile that came up on her face, you, money can't buy that and, and money can't buy that experience for her. Something that she will always remember that an adult stuck with her, that she was able to achieve it and then she has gone on and used that. Couldn't get her out of a canoe yesterday, but she had that confidence because of those experiences. Everyone on the team, the instructors, but also all of the staff have literally gone over and above. There is nothing we could have asked for more. We have, we, I know that when our lunch arrives later on, for example, we will have one tomato ketchup sandwich and one jam sandwich because we have two children, that's all they will eat in a sandwich. But the team have just turned around and said, we'll do it. Whatever you need us to do, we'll make it happen. Words can't really describe what the instructors have done for our children. Um, and I will get a little bit emotional because I really appreciate what they've done. They have been patient, they've taken the time and they've demonstrated to our children that each and every single one of them is important and that they are valued and that it's okay to go at their pace, it's okay to be scared, it's okay to feel nervous about something. That doesn't mean you don't get to do it. Um, so from the, from the young lady I've just talked about to the child who yesterday as they were setting off in their canoes whose legs were hurting, that's okay, let's put you in a different boat, it's fine, we want you to be part of this and they've made every child feel like they're part of it. At no point have I had a child sitting out with me who didn't want to do an activity because every time when a child has said, oh, I'm not sure about that, someone has made them feel like they can do it or they can do something else which means they can participate. So that 100% participation is a massive thing that wouldn't have been possible without your team. And they don't know it, and just like teachers often don't know it, but some of your team this week will have changed those children's lives They'll remember them forever.